Yo, what's up, guys? In today's video, I have some huge Chicago Bulls news and trade rumors that just came out. But before I jump into today's video, make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel. Leave a quick like on today's video if you guys miss Bulls basketball. I know this past week or two has been really boring without it. Also, leave some comments and questions below today's video talking about the topics and the trade rumors that just came out. Also, check out my last video if you guys missed it. I was talking about how a Bulls insider expects the Chicago Bulls to make a trade or a move in the upcoming months. I was also talking about the recent Robert Covington trade talk that's been going around on Twitter and by Bulls fans and Bulls insiders. So nonetheless, let's just jump right into it because the first big news that did just come out, according to Casey Johnson, DeMar DeRozan has made it out of COVID protocols. So that's great to see. It's looking like this team is finally getting out of, like I'd say, COVID protocols. I saw Alex Caruso is 100% now. So it's good to see that the NBA gave the Bulls a week off. The Bulls are finally getting healthy and out of the safety protocols. And the Chicago Bulls do have a big game Sunday night versus the Lakers. I know the Lakers have had a lot of positives. I mean, every sport really has the NBA, NFL. I feel like a lot of them are just false positives. But at the same time, hopefully everyone is okay. And hopefully DeMar is ready for tomorrow's game versus the Lakers. And then the Bulls got a double header. They do play Monday night as well versus the Rockets at home. And we can't sleep on the Rockets like we did last time. I'm just excited to start seeing all the guys come back and just watch the Bulls play again. Definitely leave some comments and questions below today's video about DeMar finally coming back and the Bulls up and coming games. So now let's jump into the big news and rumors that just came out. Huge shout out to Daniel Greenberg for putting this out. And according to HB Basketball, the Chicago Bulls are planning to be buyers at the NBA trade deadline. And I think that's obvious. Since the season has started, Bulls fans, Bulls insiders, everyone's talked about the possibility of the Bulls looking to trade for some help or just add, I'd say, a power forward or, or I'd say veteran center on the buyout market later in this season. And I'm going to be honest, I just kind of expected the Chicago Bulls that they're planning to be buyers buyers at the trade deadline this team is really good their window how who knows how long it is with Demar and Vooch already 30 years old I believe the Bulls could go all in and take a chance and try and win a title now but the second part of this tweet really I'd say just stretches makes me scratch my head it really just confuses me and according to HP basketball the Chicago Bulls are looking to trade for a wing defender to bring off the bench and that really just I just I don't even know what to say I'm so confused you know I feel like if anything the Bulls need to add a starting power forward or maybe Maybe even a backup center to this roster the Bulls just need a big man I feel like they don't need another small forward or a wing defender especially to burn off the Bulls bench I feel like the Bulls are already kind of wing heavy I mean you got Zach you got DeMar you got Caruso that mainly plays I'd say the point guard or shooting guard that can even play the small forward I mean Caruso's even played the four times same with Javante Green you got Derrick Jones Jr. I just don't understand that I feel like the Bulls are really heavy at small forward and just a wing position so definitely leave some comments and questions below today's video about that tweet coming out and that news and of course bleacher report put out an article talking about this whole situation and matt moore of the action network said that the bulls are going to be buyers you know i already went over that and the bulls plan is to replace patrick williams who's going to most likely miss the remainder of the regular season because of his wrist injury and i really don't understand that and of course patrick williams is a really talented i'd say small forward or power forward in the nba but bleacher report did say it's unclear who the chicago bulls may target given that it's unlikely that the chicago bulls will want to mess with the chemistry by moving an impact rotational player and Bleacher Report said with that being said it wouldn't be a surprise if a veteran you know on a lottery team finds himself getting cut later in the season and of course the Chicago Bulls do target him so definitely leave some names below today's video that you guys would want the Chicago Bulls to maybe trade for or if to, I just say wait for them to get bought out around the NBA trade deadline. I really expected the Bulls to be buyers, but I did not expect them to want to add a small forward, especially a defensive wing. I feel like that just doesn't make sense, especially with the Bulls already have, I'd say, limited assets and bleacher nation also was covering this whole situation and he also agreed with me he said the last thing i will say on this whole situation is that the idea of adding a backup wing defender makes him scratch his head a little bit as well and as far as perimeter defenders go i feel like the chicago bulls are pretty heavy at that like i was saying earlier in today's video they got alex caruso lonzo ball javante green io you know they have been all pretty solid to start the season to lead chicago to a top eight defensive rating also shout out to Derek jones jr you know he's been playing the small ball center and four and he's been really solid you know troy brown jr has been here and i'd say pretty solid here and there as well 
I just don't understand this tweet and this news that came out. I feel like the Bulls should focus on front court depth and bench scoring. But who knows? Definitely leave some comments and questions below today's video about that. If I'm the Chicago Bulls, I want to add a power forward to this roster, in my opinion. You know, I know there's been a lot of Bulls fans that have wanted the Bulls to try and trade for Miles Turner. You know, there's been a lot of drama over there in Indiana about them just blowing up their whole roster and trading Miles Turner, you know, Sabonis, and I saw Karis LeVert. And I know a lot of Bulls fans, and myself included, are really high on Miles Turner. You know, he's only 25 years old. He's a defensive machine. I feel like he'd fit amazing next to Vooch or coming off the bench for the Bulls. That's the only problem, though. I feel like he wants a big role and i'm gonna be honest he's making a decent amount of money i believe like 17 or 18 million dollars per season so it's going to be hard for the bulls to match get that salary and give them solid assets in return say they do go into a full rebuild i feel like that's a dream scenario i highly doubt that ever happens i also know a lot of bulls fans have been really high in cam reddish i made a past video talking about that whole situation the hawks have kind of been shopping him for years now and i'd say executives around the league believe that atlanta is seeking a first round draft pick for cam reddish you know that said, Cam Reddish is a really sol solid small forward that wouldn't surprise me if the Bulls did target him. I mean, he's averaging career highs across many stats this season. He's averaging 11 points per game, and he's also shooting 37% from three-point range. You know, I wouldn't be mad if the Bulls did. I'd say target a backup small forward to burn off the bench, but it just really doesn't make sense to me. I'd honestly wait for the NBA buyout market to happen around the NBA trade deadline, and hopefully the Bulls can maybe sign a backup big man or a starting power forward. You know, looking at the free agent market right now, there's not a lot of names on there that really interest me. I know some Bulls fans even want Tristan Thompson if he does get bought out of Sacramento. I know there's been a lot of drama over there as well. There's just been a lot of drama in the NBA in general with the whole COVID situation and team just wanting to blow it up definitely check out my last video i've been making videos like every other day talking about potential buyout markets and trade markets surrounding the chicago bulls they've kind of been connected to every wing and i'd say backup center or like starting power forward on the market right now so definitely check out all my past videos talking about those guys. You know, I just made a video the other day about how a Bulls insider expects the Bulls to make a move. And then this tweet comes out and he was also talking about how the Bulls could target Robert Covington. I feel like he'd be a solid wing, but his contract and value, who knows? He's really struggled this season for the Blazers as well. So definitely leave some comments and questions below today's video about this whole rumor. DeMar finally coming back, the upcoming Bulls games. Also, check out all my past videos if you guys missed them. Thank you guys for all the love on the channel. I really do appreciate it. Also, if you guys are still watching this video to the end, you're a real one. Click the first link below. It says we're going to enjoy my Discord. We're always talking about any Bulls news and rumors over there before I make a video on it. Thank you guys for watching today's video. Have a good one.